Alright, um, for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up an object in 3D Studio Max t and use your gamepad to control it. and So you can get like uh, quick animations without any manual keyframing and all that stuff. Uh, might be useful for something. Alright, so let's go ahead and quickly create a box. Try to get this in one tutorial here. I'll jump through everything as quick as I can. Alright, so then go to, once you have your box or whatever object you're using, go to Motion Control Panel here and go to the drop down the Sign Controllers and you got your Position, Rotation, and Scale. We're going to open and expand the position to see our X, Y, and Z. Um, to make this more detailed, we're going to just do one at a time. Set them, we can set a float motion controller to the actual position, but we're going to set it one at a time so we can give them the separate tracks and control it separately. Um, make it less confusing. So we're going to click on the X, we're going to click the assign controller button and set float motion control, motion capture controller. And this is the X one, so we're going to change this to X position, that's the track name we're going to give it. We're going to select joystick input device for the value and leave it at X for now and that should be good close it then do the same thing for the other ones we got the Y float motion can capture joystick set it to Y and set it joystick axis Y and that's it now for Z same thing float motion capture Click OK, set it to joystick input device, set this one to Z pose. The name does not matter, so it can be any name you want. I'm going to set this one to Z for now. We'll change that in a bit and X that. Now we have all the positions set. Now we can also do this for rotation too, the same exact thing to control the rotation. So what I just go ahead and do that, I guess. Um, uh, we'll leave that. Well, let's, let's leave that for now because it's basically the same thing. There's no difference. You can do that, and once you know the position, how to do that, you'll be able to do it for a rotation too. I don't want to make the tutorial too long because that's just pretty much the same exact setup. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the utilities panel now. Click on the motion capture button. You may get a media device warning. Just click OK or whatever to close that, and you'll it'll bring you to it. Um, and here's your tracks that you just created. So we can do one at a time and test it with our joystick. Click the test button and move your joystick around to make sure it's all working. This is left to right. That's working fine. Click test button again to get out of there. Sometimes if it gets stuck, hit the escape key and it'll get you out of the test mode. Then let's test, turn that off and test the Y position. Click test. Okay, this is backwards for me, so I'm going to turn that off. Double click on it on the Y position. Change it to flip and exit and test it now. I'm good. Okay, that works. Now the Z position will test that one. We're going to test it. Use the Z analog stick. Okay, that works left to right, so that's wrong. I'm going to chain open it up, the track up, and set it to throttle instead of Z. And that should take care of it. Let me see. Test it. All right, when I pull down on my joystick, it goes up, more like a flight kind of th deal, so that's fine. I'm going to leave it like that. That could be any way you want it if you want to flip it or not. Okay, now you can control the sensitivity by changing the scale number for each thing. So, like, for instance, Y. Let's close this one for now. We'll open that up. And we'll set the scale or something really high just so you can see. I'm going to test it. Now, see if I go, it goes much faster much more sensitive so we can set it back to one and you can also turn accumulate on turn that on to see what that does now it'll keep going so if you let go of the joystick it'll just keep moving like that you know it'll stay at the position it won't snap back like it was before so you can hold the joystick in and it'll just go on forever before if we did it as soon as you let go the joystick it comes back to zero so wherever it was when it started so that shows you that. So that gets all that set up. Okay, so let's turn them all on now. I'll set accumulate for this one. Uh, do the same thing for X. And we're going to turn that one on. And I'll just turn on Z too. Okay, so now I can kind of like 
control all of them at once. That's around and that's up. I'm going to leave the Z alone like this just so, you know, I can make sure it snaps back to the middle just for this uh, test, but, you know, it shows you how to do it. You can turn accumulate on for Z as well and make it continue on. We'll accumulate it. Let's kind of zoom back a little bit so we don't lose it. And you can see it's going up and down and flying all over the place. Okay, so now that's fine. Now say we want to record this an this animation. So all we do is just click start on here and it'll record right away. It'll start recording all our keyframes. So as soon as you click start, I'm going to just go ahead and move the joystick where I want it. And now all those keyframes are recorded. So you can see new keyframes are made. And now when we play it, now the animation is made. So it's a quick way of uh, animating something if you want a quick animation of, you know, some kind of flight deal. And that's pretty much how you do that. Not really that hard at all. You know, hopefully this will get you going on some of your own ideas, how to set it up. You know, you can set this up just like a car using the rotation as well. A little bit more advanced for that. Maybe I'll do that in the next tutorial if anybody's interested on how to add the rotation in there so it actually turns because you know you can't just you can add the rotation tracks in just like I did the positions but there's a certain way to set it up to make it actually work like a vehicle would and then you can animate it just like a car um, but this is more this certain setup right here that I have is more for um, doing like uh, planes and uh, you know, helicopters, things like that, because it's just a flight area. You don't need it to uh, turn like a car would. So, but um, you know, that's that's one way of uh, doing this. You know, it's pretty neat to be able to set it up that way. So, all right, see, so I'm stuck. So, there we go. Tested it. Okay, so you know, you could do the same. Like I said, you could do the same thing with the rotation. Um, let me go ahead and try that real quick since I have a couple minutes here. Let's set up the find out what rotation we need. I'm gonna I guess it would be on the Z. We'll try or Z or X, let me see. Okay, it's on the Y. I want to try to do the Y one. So we're gonna go to rotation, set up a float motion capture for the Y rotation. We'll see how that works. I'm gonna set it for joystick and set it for X. May have to flip it most likely, but we'll see. Uh, leave that scale, everything the way it is. And we'll open up a utilities panel. Now we have that in there. Let's change track name to X. This way it's got a, na a good name in it. And let's go ahead and turn it on, see what happens. Alright, so you see that's way too, too much. I didn't want that, so... Let's turn the scale down. It's in the right direction at least. We'll set it to really something really low. All right, so that's not good. A little bit lower. We just I just wanted to go slightly, slightly down. Okay, that's better. Let me try going real low. Zero. See if that allows me to do that. There we go. That's better. That's kind of what I was looking for. Maybe point zero three. You just basically have to experiment to get the right setting that you want. And now, as you can see, it's floating around just like you know. It's got that rotation to it, but that's how you set that up. You know, it's a cool way to uh, you know do a quick animation for any kind of spaceship or something like that. You know, Woo. It's, it's fun to play with too. And Max like a video game, so it's, I don't know. It's pretty cool. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'm at my 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna cancel this off. And if anybody's interested, I'll make another tutorial. All right. Thanks for listening.